Welcome back to What's Cooking in Bert's Kitchen. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. So today we're going to make us a little dessert. It's called Peau de Creme. It's a French thing. It's really the simplest thing you're ever going to make. And it just tastes phenomenal. Actually, we're not even going to cook today. We're not turning on the stove. We're not turning on the oven. None of that. We've got a blender right here. That's everything we're going to need. Um, we'll need the microwave for 30 seconds, but I'll explain all of that. What our dessert is today is a chocolate and coffee pudding with a little bit of orange flavor in it. Um, and then I'll teach you how to make your own whipped cream to put on the top. Um, it's the simplest and easiest thing, and it presents so well. People will think you're just amazing if you make this. So let's get started. Really, really quite simple. First thing we got, a blender, chocolate chips. It's a 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips. We're gonna use the whole thing, pour it right into the blender. Now you may notice the blender I have is about three centuries old. Um, I don't spend a lot of money on the latest, greatest gadgets. Um, go to a yard sale. Somebody's bought something that they don't use anymore. They'll let you plug it in, make sure it works. Got this one for five bucks at a yard sale right around the corner. Been using it for 10 years. It's brilliant. So here we have 12 ounces of uh, chocolate chips. I got four eggs. Now, you, uh, an important part of making this dessert, pull the eggs out of the fridge a half an hour or so before you're going to do this because you want them to come to room temperature. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so we've got four eggs in there, 12 ounces of chocolate chips. You can add Grand Marnier, which is an orange flavored liqueur, um, but this isn't really going to cook. That alcohol is not going to cook out, so if you're serving it to kids, I would suggest use orange extract. Um, pick it up at Walmart. It's really nothing spectacular. Um, cost you a buck and a half for a two ounce bottle. And just, just a little splash. It'll give it a nice orange back note. Put the lid on. And this is, this is where we're going to make a lot of noise. So we're going to start grinding this. But in the meantime, I've got one cup, eight ounces of coffee and it's strong coffee. Um, Espresso style strong. You want it to be really hot. Now, I just took this out of the coffee pot. However, we want to make sure that it's good and hot to melt all of that chocolate. Otherwise, your dessert's not going to have the right texture. It's not going to be smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it into the microwave for another 30 seconds while this is blending. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is this is a metal ball and the uh, attachments for my electric mixer, I'm going to stick them in the freezer. I want to get them nice and cold for our whipped cream when we start that. Okay, coffee's in the microwave. Going to start blending this. Set it on the highest setting. Let's grind that stuff up.
Okay, now, coffee's done in the microwave, good and hot. Remember, eight ounces of coffee. You want to take this little ring out of the top. You don't want to take the top off. Get it grinding again and slowly stream this in because it's going to make, the heat is going to make the whole thing volumize, especially with the eggs. And it's going to get, um, it's going to get pretty voluminous. Now we want to let that continue to blend for about a minute. Okay, so that's been blending for a minute. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to put this into our serving dishes. Um, a lot of times, pot de served in demitasse cups, uh, like you would drink espresso from, um, or small little things like that. You can serve it in anything you want. Um, you can serve it in these ramekins like this. You can even serve it in these small casserole dishes if you want to. Uh, what I'm going to serve it up in is some nice uh, fancy looking champagne type glasses. So here I have some nice champagne glasses to uh, serve this in. We're going to fill them up to there and then put a little the whipped cream that we make on top of it. It'll look really, really pretty. And the beauty of this whole situation is it's in a pouring vessel. We made it right in this pouring vessel. And there we have it. It made seven. You can fill them up a little more if you want to have an even number of six. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to set these in the fridge and let them start to uh, gel. That's going to take about three or four hours. When that comes, in the meantime, we'll make the, the whipped cream. When it all comes out, we'll put the whipped cream on. Boom. You'll be amazed. Okay, blender's out of the way. Let's get that bowl and the whisks out of the freezer. Nice and ice cold. It's going to make all the difference in the world in making our whipped cream. Now, you certainly can whip this by hand, but that's really asking. That's, that's a workout. Um... So, while I don't normally use electronics for things, in this case, we're going to get electric. Here I have one pint or two cups of heavy cream. So there we have two cups of heavy cream. And one quarter cup of sugar. Level it off, make it nice. Okay, so this is the point. We haven't started whipping this yet. This is the point where you can add a little flavor. Um, let's say you were working with strawberries. You could add a little strawberry extract um, or just plain old vanilla extract to, to give it a little something. Um, since we added orange, or if you're making it at home for adults, maybe Grand Marnier, um, to the uh, pot de cremes, I'm going to add a little bit, just a splash a very tiny splash of orange extract just to give it a little extra flavor. And you want to do it now before the cream starts to, before we start whipping things and the cream starts to stiffen up.
there we are, probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon, just a little bit of orange flavor. So we've got two cups of cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and just a splash of orange extract. Now you're going to have to do this for a few minutes, um, but you'll notice that the cream starts to set up and you want it to get good and stiff, but not quite butter. You want good stiff peaks and I'll show you those when we get to that point. So now here we have good stiff whipped cream and fantastic, just a hint, just a hint of the orange, but it's definitely noticeable. That's going to be perfect. Put that in a bowl, stick it in the fridge, you know, with a lid on it, and it'll keep for up to a couple of days. Okay, so here it is. Dinner's now over. You want to serve up a really nice dessert, make it look classy. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the fridge now, get out our whipped cream, get out our puddings, put a little whipped cream right on top. It'll look beautiful. It'll taste amazing. And your friends will never want to go anywhere else for dinner because they're going to come to your house. They're going to keep asking you to make this thing. Trust me, it happens. So here's our pudding. We get a little whipped cream. Put it in there, spread it around, get us a nice little layer on the top. There you go. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it tastes amazing. Oh my God, that hint of orange is just, it's perfect with, the, with those flavors just all. So, mm, excuse me, I'm going to eat all seven of these. You have a wonderful day. Thanks again for stopping into What's Cooking in Bert's Kitchen. And please come back next time to see what I'm cooking up.